Hi guys. Um, might be a bit late to the party here, but it's been uh, quite a few requests for this. Um, so we're going to start on page 191. Um, let me set the scene here. Uh, Miss Anastasia Steele is, um, well, she's decided to go out with this guy. His name is, uh, Christian Grey, as in Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, <clears throat> and I'd like to start, uh, um, this bit. Um, so I'd like to start, and, uh, if any of you have good taste, uh, please shut off this review. Review? It's a reading. This is a reading by me. Okay. Let me think. Um, his eyes blaze at me. His, ch <laughs> his is a challenge in his stare. His lips are parted. He's waiting, coiled to strike. Desire, acute, liquid, and smoldering combust deep in my belly. What the fuck? I take preemptive action and launch myself at him. Somehow he moves. I have no idea, and in the blink of an eye, I'm on the bed, pinned beneath him, my arms stretched out and held above my head, his free hand clutching my face, and his mouth finding mine. His tongue is in my mouth, claiming and possessing me, and I revel in the force he uses. I feel him against the length of my body. He wants me, and... And this does strange, delicious things to my insides. Not Kate in her little bikini. Not one of fifteen. Not evil Mrs. Robinson. Me. This beautiful man wants me. My inner goddess glows so bright she could light up Portland. He stops kissing me. And opening my eyes, I find him gazing at me. Trust me, he breathes. I nod, wide-eyed, my heart bouncing off my ribs, my blood thundering through my body. He reaches down, and from his pants pocket, he takes out a silver, grey, silk tie. That silver, grey, woven tie that leaves small impressions of its weave on my skin. He moves so quickly, sitting astride me, as he fastens my wrists together, but this time he ties the other end of the tie to one of the spokes of my white iron headboard. Ooh, naughty! He pulls at my binding, checking it's secure. I'm not going anywhere. I'm tied, literally, to the bed, and I'm so aroused. He slides off me and stands beside the bed, staring down at me, his eyes dark with want. His look triumphant mixed with relief. That's better, he murmurs, and smiles a wicked, knowing smile. He bends and starts undoing one of my sneakers. Oh no, not my feet. No, I've just been running. No, I protest, trying to kick him off. He stops. If you struggle, I'll tie your feet too. And if you make a noise, Anastasia, I will gag you. Keep quiet. Catherine is probably outside listening right now. Gag me, Kate. I shut up. He removes my shoes and sucks efficiently and slowly peels off my sweatpants. Oh, what panties am I wearing? He lifts me and pulls the quilt and my duvet from underneath me and places me back down, this time on the sheets. Now then, he licks his bottom lips slowly. You're biting that lip, Anastasia. You know the effect it has on me. He places his long index finger over my mouth. A warning. Oh my, I can barely contain myself, lying helpless, watching him gr move gracefully around my room. It's a heady aphrodisiac. <laughs> Slowly, almost leisurely, he removes his shoes and socks, undoes his pants, and lifts his shirt over his head. I think you've seen too much. He chuckles slyly. He sits astride me again, pulls my t-shirt up, and I think he's going to take it off me. But he rolls it up to my neck and pulls it up over my head. 
so he can see my mouth and nose, but it covering my eyes. And because it's full of I cannot see a thing through it. Mmm, he breathes appreciatively. This just gets better and better. I'm going to get a drink. Yeah, Fifty Shades of Grey!